my name is Jacob Mepper, and I worked with Elijah Lena on this project. Um, so it was basically plastic lid packaging, and this idea came from Plastics Ingenuity in Cross Plains. Uh, we both worked there, and basically the goal was to get uh, these plastic lids into a bag as cleanly as we could. Right now it's a four-person job, and with this hopefully we cut it down to one person. So that was basically the whole game plan, and I think we accomplished it pretty well. Uh, so this first part was to simulate a trim press ejecting the parts, and then the robot's going to take the, them to the next step. So now the trim press has ejected the parts, so now the robot's going to take them the rest of the way to the transfer conveyor, and that's their um, as a placeholder for the camera. That's where the camera is going to take a picture of the parts. And we attempted to count the parts, which we ended up being pretty successful with that. Um, so then the conveyor. So once the camera passes the parts, it will advance them to the bagging machine. And that's why we have the uh, conveyor there, so we can put one row of parts into the bagger at a time. And then the bagger will do its part and seal the bag. So then once that's done, they'll come out and they'll look like this in a sealed bag, um, hopefully as cleanly as they can be. And this is where a, a person might still have to put them all together. Um, at this point, it wasn't perfect, so of course they didn't all stay together. But the bag is sealed cleanly, and parts aren't going to fall out, so that was the main goal. So I've learned a lot in the past year um, between fixturing and, and mechanical design and laying it all out, and just the whole planning aspect of it. Um, I would definitely say I wish I would have done a little bit better on the documentation side and keeping up with it. Um, but other than that, I've learned a lot more with um, the HMI screen and programming those and how to be as efficient as possible and make it look as nice as possible in terms of everything being laid out, uh, spaced apart, and then uh, efficient ways of programming with the PLC. Uh, this really uh, was a good, um, I don't know how you'd say, it was a good thing to, it really helped with that because there was just so much more that we did. It wasn't just working through a lab in the classroom, it was actually out here working with real sensors and, and actually sensing moving parts and it was just all a whole new experience pretty much. And it was really, it really tied in nicely with what we've learned in the classroom and gave a real world experience with how it could be applied. So I learned a lot just in that aspect actually applying what we've learned. All right, so uh, what are the chances that Plastic Ingenuity is going to incorporate something like this or have you worked on something like this at your job? From what I gathered when my supervisor was here and the original person that gave me the idea, he was pretty enthused with it and I know they've been, he's mentioned multiple times they've been looking at doing something like this for years now um, and he also was enthused with using a camera. He thought that was a really cool thing and he seemed like that could be applied somewhere at, at the PI. Okay, very good. 